dog breath. Ugh. Up and at him, you two. I found our breakfast. Great. I hope it's garbage. No, even better. With you two gourmets, I can just imagine. Fine. Stay here and diet. Are you calling me fat? Of course not. For a hippopotamus. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video we're headed to the world of The New King. The new most wish-listed game on Steam titled Stray. We get to run around a city as a little kitty cat. So it's, it's more than that. We'll check out the trailer in a little bit. Now before we talk about this and why this likely happened, I have to say happy 4th of July. In my house, we take the 4th of July very seriously. We woke up, we watched a movie as a family, Independence Day. We decorated the house, we got in our outfits, we're taking pictures, we're going to a block party, we're setting off fireworks, and then the older kids, we're gonna watch The Patriot later. I hope you all have a fantastic fourth. I'm even in my... If you ain't first, you're last. George Washington shirt. Have a fantastic evening. All right, let's get on to Stray. We are on the website, comicbook.com. Steam gains new most wishlisted game after controversy. And I just talked about the controversy in an older video. Steam's list of the most wishlisted games in development has a new champion sitting atop the Steam charts. And that game is Stray. The game where you play as a cat and roam about a city while defending yourself against threats and explore. And exploring has dethroned the day before, a game which previously held the number one spot for quite a while. I think it was almost two years it has been the most wishlisted game, which makes sense because it's always gaming people that wish list it and it keeps getting delayed. So it makes sense why it is the number one a game which previously held the number one spot for quite a while. This upset in the rankings comes just after the day before was subject to an ongoing controversy regarding inner workings in the development. Basically what happened, I just made the video, I'll link it at the description, is that the day before a survival next gen MMO built on Unreal Engine 5 the people actually developing this game are unpaid volunteers. Now, volunteer is the clear word. It's not like they're forcing people to make the game, but the game is basically getting developed for free because they're not paying anybody, which really sucks. SteamDB keeps track of which games people are playing most or plan on most looking forward to in the wishlist chart, and the chart currently has Stray sitting on top. It's true that it does trail the day before in followers, but Stray is still above in terms of how many people have put it on their wish list. Now, as Stray gets closer to launch, obviously people are wishlisting it. And then after the controversy, you know, it's an inverse relationship. A couple of factors likely contributing to Stray ranking so high on the list. It's a game where you play as a cat and wears a backpack of sorts. So it's already got that going for it. Gameplay shown off so far has been promising and it's at 2099 which looks like a decent deal. It is also getting launched in July. Enjoy the trailer for Stray. Just in case you didn't believe me, right now we're on the website SteamDB, and if you're not familiar with this website, you should be, because it is a, gives you a lot of great information. 
And as you can see, even though followers are lower, just like it says on the article, Stray does beat out the day before. They got some other ones down here, like party animals. I don't even know what that is. 332,000 followers, but it's wishlisted number four. So here it is right now. Moving over to the official Steam page for Stray. Now, the release date for the game is July 19th, so we're only a couple weeks away from getting our hands on this game. Lost, alone, and separated from family, a stray cat must untangle an ancient mystery to escape a long-forgotten cyber city and find their way home. And when you look at the video I showed you, the trailer for the game, it does look very open world, not very linear, linear right? Like scaling up here and walking across that. And that could just be, you know, clever editing for the trailer. Maybe it's not open world, but it does look like a fun game. Now, is it a game that I'm likely going to play? I'm going to be honest and say no. Lately, I've been really trying to focus on games that I can play with my community, and this is a single player title. So as for now, I'm going to skip Stray, but who knows? Maybe it'll be something we stream in the future. Now, a lot of people dislike pre-purchasing, okay? They want to play the game, they want to see the reviews first before they actually buy it, but if you planned on pre-purchasing Stray, you can get a 10% off right now for $26.99. It really is a pretty good deal, especially if it's the quality people are talking about it's going to be. System requirements for the game, since we have a Steam page, Windows 10, Intel Core i5-8400, 8 gigs of RAND, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780, and 10 gigabytes of storage space. So system requirements for the game are almost nothing. Any PC for the last six to eight years, you are probably going to be fine. It's really, I mean, I would think the graphics, the graphics card would be a lot higher. 780? It's literally like five generations old. Five, five, six generations old as far as video card. That's the video. Stray, the new king of the mountain. What do you think? Is this a game you want to play? Are you happy that the day before has finally been dethroned? Because by the way, once Stray releases, it, it'll just become number one again. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I have two asks for you at the end of the video. I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. It really does help push the channel forward in 2022. We are approaching 20,000 subs as a channel. So I'm hoping today I have earned it. Second ask, if you haven't had a chance to check out my Patreon, first link in the description. You get access to me in the VIP lounge on my Discord. You get a special title. You get to check out our weekly blog post and our weekly podcast with more on the way. That's the video. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out.